Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here from the Automator, and we were wondering, when's the last time you wasted a lot of time trying to send mouse clicks or look for pixels in a certain spot? Because uh, we're doing a video today to help show you some ways to improve that stability of getting it to work right, because it's something that's it's really much more complicated, well, it seems more complicated than it is, and so we're going right. to spell some myths here and make sure you hang out to the end because we're going to tell you like when you might take one approach versus the other and some gotchas you want to look out for right and basically what we're talking about is the coordinate mode there's a command that gives us an ability of changing the coordinate mode of our commands and and that's what you were kind of like referring to like what does that even mean <laughs> and many you know, a lot of times we don't even know what that means but just to uh Take a quick look there are some programs or scripts that you sh usually use this coordinate mode pixel screen and mouse screen and that's what we're going to talk about what does that actually mean so for that we're going to run a specific little tool that gives us all the coordinates at once we have the screen coordinates the window coordinates and the client coordinates and we're going to and as you can see here and this is just from windows spy we just took a section of windows spy and show it and notice that they say like recommended why is client recommended and what does that even mean right so just the first thing yeah clarify, go ahead. this is all about right now those things that's the mouse coordinate right i just right uh, right now we're talking about mouse positions right so whenever i move my mouse here you will notice that the the locations change and at the moment, they all look similar, but let me show you something. Let's go ahead and open this window here. And now notice that the coordinates are totally different, right? right? The screen coordinate says 992, but the window coordinate says 979, and the client coordinates 671 for the X value, at least. The Y value also changes drastically between them. So what is going on? So the first thing, the, the easiest to understand is the screen coordinates. So my mouse relative to the screen, starting at zero, zero here on the top left corner, I would check the position of the mouse compared to that zero, zero here on the top left corner, which is the corner of my screen resolution, which is perfect because I know that my screen size doesn't change mid running. So my screen is always gonna be 1920 by 1080 in my case, you would have a different resolution, but you always have the same screen size. So whenever I take a look at where my mouse is positioned, if I'm actually, if my coordinate system is relative to the screen size, then I know where the mouse is relative to the screen. Sometimes that's not a good idea in certain situations. And that's where window and client come into play. They both give you the same information, the only thing is that window takes into account a little bit more of whatever you have. So these two numbers depend on what is the active window. That's the main key point here. So whenever I'm moving my mouse right now, if, if I'm just on the desktop, right, the, the three things are going to be exactly the same because the desktop, you know, doesn't have a window. As soon as I put it, uh, as soon as I open a program, now, the zero position, so as you remember, I said the top left corner, zero, zero here, starts on my screen over there, right? So that was my, my, my zero position on the top left. Now, when I have an active window, my zero, zero for the client window is going to be here on the top left corner of the window, which has a different meaning if you don't take into account this bar here at the top, which is the caption, right? So the caption is the window uh this one here is including the caption which if i put my mouse right on the on top here you will see the zero zero more or less at that location right um but if i don't take into account the caption my zero zero would be up down here which as you can see the client now gives me a little bit of information about that's when it would start counting so when the and notice that it doesn't take into account the menu here you see this menu if i put my mouse up there like in this little corner after the menu notice that the client is two zero you see so the client area does not take into account the menu either if there's a menu so that's the difference between the three coordinate modes 
where my zero zero start. So my mouse position here, when I put my mouse where the add button is, if I say, if I'm relating to the zero zero of my screen, it's 1000 pixels away to the right and seven down, 700 down. But if I'm actually starting counting from the corner here, then the number is a little bit less. And the same with a client. So if I start counting from this corner here, then it's there. That's the, 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 the meaning of those three things. Now, which one would you choose? <laughs> which is the one that you choose most often? My favorite answer. <laughs> it depends, exactly. It depends, it depends. But I've seen a lot of scripts defaulting to screen. I see a lot. And actually, the, the default, uh, your, your defaults, you have a script that has kind of your defaults. I think in your defaults that you put send mode input and you uh, set batch lines minus 10 and so on stuff like that. I think in your defaults, you also have uh, coordinate mode screen by default. I'm not sure if I'm right on that one, but a lot of people I see that they default to screen. There is a reason for that. I would definitely not recommend you use one over the other, but I would tell you what is more common. What is common is that there's a lot of functions out there, not auto hotkey related, that would give you coordinates based on the screen. And if you're not aware of that, you might try to send a click. And this is the interesting thing. Out of hotkey version one defaults to the window location. So the window coordinate mode, whenever you say click um, 300, so, so at this point, click 600 by 400, it will always give you, it will look for the window first and then try to click on that location. There is a problem with that. If you resize your window, now that coordinate changes, you see? And that's where it comes into play. When would I use one of the, or the other? Well, the interesting thing is that my window size doesn't change. So my, my screen resolution doesn't change that often, which means that if my window is maximized or if it's not gonna change sizes very often, I might usually go with the screen location because then it gives me kind of like a an absolute position for that button, independent of, of anything. That button is at that location, depending on, you know, independent of whether the window changed the size or whatever. But if you if you have a window that does not change sizes very often, so I have a window in this size and I have it there it is usually better to go with the screen, the, the client location or the window location, because that way I'm actually referring, I'm not looking at anything else on the screen. I'm actually looking at this window only and inside that window, the button is at that location. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I'd say um, it's it's very, very important. So when we rarely send mouse clicks and keystrokes, right? But when we do, often I know you'll say, well, I'm going to maximize this program so I don't have to worry that things are moving around, right? Uh, but let's say you're using Notepad instead of your, your HK toolkit. And in Notepad, like let's say you were doing something with the fonts, whatever, those windows, if I remember correctly, don't move around inside Notepad, right? At least not not by default. Um, when you're saying is about like fonts here, right. they always show up in a very specific location. Right. And yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. But, and the relationship is, to each other. So, but here's um, the thing again, it is a relative to the parent window. So notice that if I move this window to the left, the window is going to show up relative to this corner here. And if I move it this way, it would show up relative to it again. So it, it, it this, this window is being shown relative to the main window, which is why the tool, when we look at it, usually tells you that is the default, right? And, and many programs do this. They usually, if they're going to show a child window, it's in relation to the parent window. It's always like that, which is why it defaults to it. And this, but you have to keep in mind that some functions don't work like that. And we saw that recently. Right. Well, that was, and that was the other really big one is, which you mentioned earlier, if you're using other commands or functions 
and you know first understand what they're using because trying to convert one to the other like i don't know is there a a function that does that somewhere? there are functions but the, the, those are window functions and uh windows functions you would have to know how to use dll calls for that right so <laughs> it's not that simple as hey give me the now the other position it's not like that but the other thing is that we ha we ran into this again we don't try we try not to send clicks whenever we can we were using the uia library but for some reason that button could not be clicked with a uia library we had to send a normal click to it. But when I started testing it, it was not working. And then right away I said, hi, you know what? It's maybe the coordinate mode. As soon as I changed that, it was working. And it was because the function, the UIA function that was returning a position for the button was doing it so in a screen coordinate instead of the window, which was the default for us. It's, so, it's funny because it's really cool. Both the UIA and the ACC library can programmatically get you the locations of buttons, right? Which is right. amazing, but it's something I they have are, to do they, before. Yeah. yeah, is that you got to take into account, yeah. What and, and this is the thing. The funny thing is that I think you haven't run into it because you're defaulting to the screen and you didn't even notice because you're defaulting to screen. Uh, but now if you don't default to screen, you might have ran into the issue that you got a, a coordinate and now it's not working. And I'm like, what? But I know that I got the correct location. Why isn't it clicking? Well, it's because the location, you, you, you see these numbers here? Yeah, if you got, if the function returned this location, but your script is sending this one, it's not going to be able to click it. That's that's all there is to it. Yeah, that's all. It's well, not and, in the location that you're looking for. And a great tip, which this actually, and, and you did it during the call, but I was thinking it, I was going to say it, and you out of, you said, well, let me switch to mouse move. Right. So you can just see where it's moving, getting moved to. And right, exactly. Really quickly, you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the coordinate is not the same. That was it. Right. But in any case, I think just understanding that this particular function is out there is good. And, and remember, you have different things that you can change. And more often than not, it's going to be either the pixel here and the mouse, coordinate mode pixel and coordinate mode, mode, mode mouse. The pixel is for pixel search or pixel get color. Those functions, when if you want to change how they're looking on the screen, you might need to use coordinate pixel screen or coordinate pixel window, whatever you want. The same happens with the mouse. Anything that is a click or a mouse move or a mouse get position, you have to specify the, the mode. They both default to window but sometimes that's not the one that you want. Can you so, real quickly pull up the, the page which explains what chord mode affects? Because yes. there were a couple others. I think tooltip was one of them. Yes, right? you, you do have other things. So chord mode actually affects the tooltip, right? Pixel and mouse, which is the most used. Menus, it shows where the menu, when you, whenever you do a menu show, where the menu is going to be shown. And the caret, which actually just changes you see these two guys the correct x and y if you have uh, this beam icon like this you see that these two variables would give you that location but again they usually default to relate it to the window that it is at not actually a screen location which sometimes might be what you need awesome so Hopefully that helped you solve some of your problems. Um, let us know. How, like, tell us, what do you typically use? Do you even pay attention to it? Write in the chat to also tell us if you ever had a really frustrating time with working with this stuff. <laughs> that, that would be the main question. Like, how, how much time have you spent trying to click on something that never worked and maybe you didn't know, it, you didn't even know why? Well, right. now you know. <laughs> yeah. And if you learned something in this video, we'd really appreciate it if you liked the video. It helps us out a lot. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Oh, and sign up to the newsletter. I'll put the URL over my head here. We often do videos, you know, at least twice a week we're releasing videos and we're the largest auto hotkey channel out there and we're creating good stuff. Cheers. There you go.